around um, what kind of women men like, very specific in terms of race, in terms of the fantasy that's offered, right? I'm single, et cetera, et cetera. It reminds me a great deal of the controversy that comes up a lot sometimes in, especially in queer circles. And I, I don't know if this happens so much in straight dating circles, but in queer circles, there's all, often every now and then this conversation about uh, the dating apps, mm-hmm. like Grindr, right? Mm-hmm. And where people will say, no fats, no femmes, no Asians. And, and then every now and then this comes up, I think, on Twitter or elsewhere. There are oh, like this algorithms is racist. for organizing. Right, all this right, shit, yeah. right. And it's like, oh, this is very racist. If you're someone who says this on your dating app, etc. So there are a couple of thoughts I have. One is which, well, you know, if you make it so that it's a stigma for people to state what their preferences are, no matter what you think about them. They're just not they're just not gonna choose someone who's fat and Asian and so on, right? They have that option. So you're not really change I don't know what change you're bringing about in the world. But the other thing is, you know, you, how do you decide? A dating app seems like seems unlike a sex brothel, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But is it? And I don't mean that in any way. What I'm simply saying is any moment where there is an exchange of sex or the possibility of the exchange of sex, especially on Mm Grindr. Come on, queer people, my people, we know this. (laughs) Come on, you're not there looking for a life partner. Let let us be blunt about it, perhaps. But so when there's an exchange of sex, then there is also desire that is one way or the other, you know, it, it comes through certain channels, channels around that determine what your racial preferences are, what your body types are, and so mm-hmm. on. And what I find so amusing every time this controversy comes up every now and then in the queer community is this idea that somehow we can legislate, you know, or we can shame that out of existence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whereas, in fact, you know, a lot of people a lot of people of color will only date white people. A lot of white people will only date people of color. Yeah, what, what's the goal here to have, we should have no true. preferences whatsoever, right? Like, right because a right. preference is offensive. Like if I say right. I like really tall girls, it's like, what, you hate short women? That's fucking it, ableist as fuck. And it like, is what, ableist. <laughs> and also, you know, if someone has a racial preference, <laughs> that is something that comes to them for any number of reasons. Some yes. of which may be aesthetic, but a lot of which may also be embedded in the kinds of the currents of imperialism and racism that all of us are born in. Oh, please. I mean, I I grew up around, I I grew up around white guys that love Asian girls and you know, it's hard not to read a lot into that. And how am I going to say, and I I know, you know, I know lots of Asian and black women who will only date, you know, who prefer white men. I know lots of white men, who prefer Asian men. I know lots of, you know, we could just go around and say, I know all of these people preferences like what exist. they like, honestly. People I mean, what they part, like, of me, also, part of me just throws my hands up like right. Lucy and says, this is just how the world works. Right. And also my attitude is also people like what they like and pe- what people like is yes. Sometimes is, is, is kind of an accretion of generations, right? Hundreds of years of Oriental and race thinking. Yes, it is all of that. But it is what it is. And the issue for me is, are we executing racist policies around this? Right, right. Am I saying that? That's a much bigger question for me than, you know, does this dude, you know, and, and this is not to say there aren't problems. This is not of to course. say that these affect, affections cannot be problematic. Some right? desires but are problematic. Some desires are problematic. <laughs> Not all desires are problematic. Desire is desire. Rather than legislate or stigmatize or shame desire, how do we think about what does it mean to exclude? Not so much. I'm, I'm less concerned with does the you know does the customer prefer a white or overtly disdain a black person? Mm-hmm. I'm less concerned about that than. Does a black woman have the right to apply for a job? Is she treated equally, et cetera? Those are my mm-hmm. concerns, right? Um, so that was just something in terms of questions around desire and sex work and how boldly it is laid out in this film. 